Okay, so today we are going to study a standard deviation, the fourth measure of dispersion. We have so far studied range, quartile deviation, mean deviation, and now we are going to study the fourth measure, which is the most important measure. Okay, and the name of the measure is standard deviation. This measure standard deviation is denoted by small s. Now, before we start with the main formulas, standard deviation is denoted by s, but then what is coefficient of standard deviation? So you have to write all these things so you can start writing coefficient of standard deviation. is equal to standard deviation upon mean. So first you write these two. Now, standard deviation measure what we want to find out. Uh, we have to use various formulas for raw, discrete and continuous. So we'll go one by one. Now along with this also write one more measure that is known as variance. So variance is equal to S square. S square yane standard deviation ka square. So ye tino liklo sabse pehle. Then we start with the formulas for raw. Raw data. Important. So you remember second and the third point what I've written coefficient of standard deviation and variance. There is one more to it, but I'll do this when we take up such sums. Okay. Now let's go to standard deviation various formulas. You write standard deviation. Formulas. Now in standard deviation, first type of formula we will see for raw data. Now what is a raw data? Raw data means there are numbers given, lots of the numbers are given and uh, from there we have to find the standard deviation. So raw data or ungrouped data. So in raw data there are various formulas. We go for direct method first. direct method. Now, in direct method, there are two formulas. The first one is now standard deviation is equal to sigma x minus x bar, the whole square upon n. Now you have to use a calculator where you have the standard, you have the square root under root. So under root function, so you can easily calculate. So standard deviation is equal to sigma x minus x bar the whole square so x minus x bar ka whole square ka total upon n n is number of observation similarly you have one more now what happens is when you go for x minus x bar if x bar is in fraction then we cannot go for this formula obviously we can go but calculations become complex so what we do is if x bar is in fraction and numbers in the in the data are very small like 1, 8, 7, 10, 15, 11, 12, just cut them square. Verbally kar sakte ho, mind me kar sakte ho, you don't need a calculator, okay? 8 square, 64, 9 square, 81, 11 square, 121, 12 square, 144, which you can do. They are basically small numbers. In that case, and in some short sums, we will be using this formula. Standard deviation is equal to sigma 
x square upon n minus x bar square whole under root. So these are the two formulas for direct method. Please write them. Now in shortcut method, just like mean, we use d over your so standard deviation is equal to sigma d square upon n minus sigma d upon n the whole square and the whole under root. Now what is d? d is, d is equal to xi minus a. What is a? a is assumed mean. a is assumed mean. Okay, now once you have written this, let's do some sums. Okay, so write in your notebook. Page number 141, illustration 12. Okay, you watch the screen and do it. No need to open the textbook right now. Now, the run scored by a batsman in his last seven matches are given below, which are 52, 58, 40, 60, 54, 38, 48. Find the variance of runs of batsmen. Also find the standard deviation. So we have to find the variance and we have to find the standard deviation. So here you can see the numbers are given 52, 58, 40, 60 without any frequency. So this is our raw data. So let's start by writing the question first, x sign. That is what that is runs. So 52, 58, 40, 60, 54, 38, 48, 48. So these are the runs. Now the formula. So first let's write the formula for both of them so that we know what formulas we have to apply. So over here, let me write the formula first. Standard deviation Standard deviation is equal to sigma x minus x bar the whole square upon n the whole under root and variance is s square. So when I square standard deviation, this under root goes away directly sigma xi minus x bar upon n. So this is variance. So these are the two formulas. Formulas will decide the columns. So the columns over here will be x bar xi minus x bar so first thing is we will have to find the mean so do the totals so total comes to 350 so 350 is the total now let's find out mean first mean x bar is equal to sigma xi upon n which is equal to 350 upon n what is n 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 which is equal to 50 runs so mean is equal to 50 runs 
and you can see over here 50 so no fraction so we can easily use our formula so now let's find out xi minus x bar in the bracket xi minus x bar and then xi minus x bar the whole square so let's do one by one now what is x bar x bar is 50 so i'll write over here xi minus 50 so let's check out 52 minus 50 is 2 then 58 minus 50 is 8 then minus 10 40 minus 50 then plus 10 then plus 4 then minus 12 and then minus 2 this total should always be equal to 0 because sum of sum of deviation of all the observations from the mean is always equal to 0 which we have seen in the chapter measures of central tendency it means what hindi mein samjhata hu dhyan dena ki ye jitne bhi observations hai in sab ko agar main mean se subtract karunga तो उनका जो टोटल आएगा वो हमेशा जीरो ही होगा सिग्मा xi माइनस x बार इस ऑलवेज इक्वल टू जीरो राइट ओवर योर फॉर योर नॉलेज सिग्मा xi माइनस x बार विल बी ऑलवेज इक्वल टू जीरो बट इफ इट इस नॉट x बार देन इट विल नॉट बी इक्वल टू जीरो इफ इट इस सम अदर नंबर यू विल गेट you will not get zero. Zero will come only when it is xi minus x bar. Okay, the rule you have to remember this. And it also helps you to cross verify because if minus plus may you have made some mistake, you will come to know why it is not coming zero. It means you have made some mistake. So you can re-verify your calculation. Now two square four, eight square sixty-four, minus ten square hundred. 100, 6, 16, then 144, then 4, and do the total. So total comes to 432. Now we have total of this column which is xi minus x bar the whole square. So now once we have it, let's find out first variance. So variance s square is equal to sigma x minus minus x bar the whole square upon n which is equal to 432 upon 7 which is equal to use calculator and find out 432 divided by 7 it comes to 61.714 so 61.71 now we find out standard deviation so standard deviation S is equal to sigma xi minus x bar the whole square upon n the whole under root which is equal to under root of 432 upon 7 which is equal to under root of 61.71 which is equal to 7.8. 
So this will be the standard deviation runs because these are absolute measures. So we use the scale that is runs. Go through it, see if you have any doubt. In case of variance for units of measurement, you use uh, runs square, okay? Because variance is square of standard deviation, that's why. Okay, so you use runs in the bracket whole square. Okay, for unit of measurement as well. Let's go to the next. Now, illustration 13, as you can see over here, that uh, the time in minutes taken to solve puzzle by students are 5, 8, 3, 6, 10. Compute the standard deviation of the time taken to solve the puzzle. You can see uh, one, two, three, four, five, five numbers are given to you and they are real, relatively very small numbers. So first uh, let's uh, write down the question. So Xi is five, eight, three, six, and 10. Do the total. Five, eight, 13, and three, 16, and six, 22, and 10 is 32. 32. Okay, now, uh, first thing is to, we find out mean, okay? So, x bar is equal to sigma xi upon n, which is 32 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 32 divided by 5 is equal to 6.4. Now, you can really, all of you can see that uh, 6.4, it means it is... Uh, in a fraction. So if you go for xi minus x bar, so 5 minus 6.48 minus 6.43 minus 6.46 minus 6.4 and then square of that. So calculations become complex. So here for standard deviation, we use our second formula, sigma x square upon n minus x bar square. Please pay attention all of you. This is a very important formula in one of the short sums. Very important. Now, over here, the formulas decide the column. So you have to find out x squared. So here you have x, then you find out x squared. So x i ka square is x squared. Now you can directly do this because numbers are small. 5 5s are 25, 64, 9, 36, and 100. And then do the totals. 25 plus 64. 24. 234. So 234. So now you have sigma x squared. This is a sigma x squared. This is sigma x. This is x bar. Now directly apply to the formula. So which is equal to 234 divided by 5 minus 6.4 ka square unsabka under root which is equal to 46.8 minus square of 6.4 so in the calculator 6.4 then press into then press is equal to which is 40.96 
which is equal to under root of five point eight four, which is equal to two point four one six six six. So four two. So two point four two minutes. That's the answer. So this formula is very important. This one. Okay, when do we use it? We use it when mean is in fraction and values of x are small. Okay, otherwise also if numbers are small, forget, sorry what the mean is, just directly you can apply the formula. Any formula you use, answer remains the same. Okay, so you need not worry. Now we'll be doing illustration number 14. The following are closing prices of five shares. Find the standard deviation by shortcut method. Now it is 147. Okay, let me correct it. Okay, now let's uh, write the sum first. Now there are closing prices of five shares. Now it is given, find the standard deviation by shortcut method. So first let's write XI 132, 147, 120, 152 and the last one, 125. Again a printing mistake, correct it, 125. So over here, because it's a shortcut method, we don't need to do the total of this because mean ka zarurati nahi hai. Let's first write the formula for shortcut method. The formula for shortcut method is standard deviation is equal to sigma d i square upon n minus sigma d upon n the whole square, the whole under root. Now d, what will be d? D will be equal to Xi minus. Some assume mean we have to take over here. Now generally assume mean what we take is a multiple of 5 or multiple of 10. So you can see minimum is 120, maximum is 140, 152. I will take 140. So calculation become easy. So as you mean is equal to 140. Now let's find out D 132 minus 140 is minus 8. 147 minus 140 is 7. 120 minus 140 is minus 20. 152 minus 140 is plus 12. And 125 minus 140 is minus 15 and do the totals 12 plus 7 minus 15 minus 20 and minus 8 so minus 24 now this this is minus 24 is your sigma d now we have to find out d square so let's find out d square. d square is 64, 49, 400, 144 and 225 and do the total. Eight eighty two. Eight eighty two is the total. So now this is sigma d square. So you have a d sigma d and you have sigma d square. n is number of observation 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So let's apply it in the formula which is equal to sigma d square is 882 upon n is 5 minus in the bracket minus 24 upon 5 the whole square 
and the whole under root which is equal to 82882 divided by 5 176.4 minus now what you do is this negative is going to become positive because you are going to square the result so 24 divided by 5 is equal to 4.8 into 4.8 which is equal to 23.04 please do it on your own so which is equal to under root of 153.36 which is equal to 12.3838 so 12.38 so this is closing price is in rupees so rupees 12.38 is the answer Now we write formulas for discrete data and continuous data for standard deviation. Now first we write for discrete data. Now direct method standard deviation is equal to now for raw data it was sigma x minus x bar the whole square upon n so here we are in a discrete data discrete data is like this you have xi you have fi okay so your frequency has come so sigma fi into xi minus x bar the whole square upon n the whole under root Now, shortcut method. Now, in shortcut method, standard deviation is equal to instead of a, instead of only D, now we have frequency also. So, it will be sigma F I D I square upon N minus sigma f i d i upon n the whole square the whole under root so this is for discrete data now what is for continuous very similar formula only minor change dhyan dosa please now for continuous data direct method standard deviation is equal to sigma fi xi minus x bar upon n the whole square the whole under root but what will be xi xi is equal to mid value because it is continuous you have class and then you have frequency so you have to find the mid value and then for shortcut Dhyando, please for shortcut it's important now for shortcut sigma f i d i square upon n minus sigma f i d i upon n the whole square the whole under root into c now we into c hai usko wo roof se bahar le jana hai so into c alag se aayega okay now what is d d is equal to xi minus a upon c d is equal to xi minus a 
is the assume mean upon C, whereas over here in discrete D is equal to Xi minus only A into C because it is not continuous. So please write the formulas. Now for discrete and continuous, I will advise you not to go for direct method. Always preferably you go for a shortcut method only. That is advisable. Now we will be doing illustration number 16. So let's go to the sum. Now illustration 16, please pay attention. The information of a number of a mobile phones sold in last 35 days in a mobile shop is given below. Find the coefficient of standard deviation of number of mobile phones sold. Use a shortcut method. Now, clearly it is given that you have to basically find out coefficient of deviation and you have to use shortcut method so here you will have to find out mean because you have to find coefficient of standard deviation okay so we will go directly with the shortcut uh, method so let's write the sum x Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Now frequency FI. So two, five, eight. 12, 7, 1. We do the totals. 35. Total 35. Now, let's first write the formula and uh, see what exactly is required because formulas decide the columns in statistics so you have to learn the formulas that's why i'm giving it to you to write daily because if you forget the formula you will forget the columns you will not get the marks so over your coefficient of standard deviation is equal to standard deviation upon mean. So we'll have to find out mean and standard deviation is equal to sigma fi di square upon n minus sigma fi di upon n. The whole square, the whole under root. Now it is discrete so into c nahi aega. d is equal to what? D is equal to X minus A. Okay, mean ka formula you write mean is equal to A plus sigma F I D I upon N. Now this will decide our columns. So we have to find out now first D I. So D, D is equal to X minus assume mean. Now what we want to take as assume mean over here, we take assume mean as 8 because that has the highest frequency. So D is equal to X minus 8 where 8 is the assumed mean, this 8. Okay, let me highlight. Now 5 minus 8 is minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2. You don't need to do the total over here. 
कि नंबर्स देखे नहीं ना टोटल कर दिया यहाँ पे जरूरत नहीं है ओके ना वी फाइंड आउट एफ आई इन टू डी आई सो एफ आई डी आई इज वॉट फ्रीक्वेंसी इन टू डी सो माइनस सिक्स माइनस टेन माइनस एट जीरो सेवन एंड टू नाउ एफ आई डी आई वी हैव टू डू द टोटल सो लेट्स डू द टोटल इट कम्स टू माइनस फिफ्टीन अगेन इट्स अ टोटल इम्पॉर्टेंट सो आई विल हाईलाइट इट now fi di square fi di square now fi di square all please pay attention all of you fi di square is fi into di into di so fi di into di is f i d i square so which is equal to f i d i into d i a d so 1820 Eight zero seven and four. Do the totals. Fifty-seven. So now you have all the information with you. Let's start putting it in the formula. now first let's find out mean x bar is equal to a plus sigma f i d i upon n which is equal to assume mean is 8 plus f i d i is minus 15 upon n n is number of observations so this is n or total of frequency 35 so Because it is negative, I write it in bracket, which is equal to eight minus fifteen divided by thirty-five, which is equal to zero point four two eight. So we'll take zero point four three, which is equal to. Seven. Point five seven mobiles. So here we got our mean. Now we move on to standard deviation. Standard deviation s is equal to sigma f i d i square upon n minus sigma f i d i upon n. okay so sigma fi di square upon n the whole under root so which is equal to sigma fi di square is 57 upon n is 35 minus now sigma fi di upon n sigma fi di upon n we have already found out which comes to minus 0.43 okay so for the sake of writing i am writing minus 15 by 35 the whole square now the whole under root which is equal to 57 divided by 35 which is 1.628 So one point six two eight minus fifteen divided by thirty five into is equal to 
0.1836 under root which is equal to under root of 1.444 which is equal to 1.20 mobiles so we got the mean we got standard deviation now we find out coefficient of standard deviation So mean standard deviation upon mean so standard deviation is 1.20 upon mean is 7.57 which is equal to 0 1.2 divide by 5 point sorry 7 point which is equal to 0 0.1585 so 0 0.16 here we will not use any measure like mobile or anything no unit of measurement no scale so 0 0.16 is the answer